और गैस यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इफ यू आर समन न्यू टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज निखिलेश एंड आई लिव हेयर इन बर्लिन टूडे वी आर हेयर टू टॉक अबाउट मास्टर्स इन फार्मेसी इफ यू आर करंट स्टूडेंट ऑफ फार्मेसी और यू हैव ग्रेजुएटेड एंड यू वर्किंग इन द इंडस्ट्री यू मे नो दैट फार्मेसी एज अ इंडस्ट्री इज वाइड स्प्रेड इन सो मेनी डिफरेंट डोमेन्स वेदर यू टॉक अबाउट केमिस्ट्री फार्मास्यूटिकल वेदर यू टॉक अबाउट बायो टेक्नोलॉजी फार्मास्यूटिकल सो it's widespread everywhere if you're someone with a bachelor's of in in biology in chemistry in pharmacy this video is for you you can apply very well for all the masters program taught here one thing is very important for you to know most universities here in germany expect you to have at least 210 credits that means four years of your bachelor's degree not three years if you have a three years degree plus if you have a work experience on top of that or a uh, academic papers published or an internship yes then you might be considered so these are some of the requirements uh, it was very hard for me to actually look for universities and pharmacy because most of these courses are in german right at the beginning i would like to highlight this point if you want to study here in germany in the space of pharmaceutical or pharmacy you need to speak german you need to have at least b1 level of certificate because then in that case the pool of courses are much wider than what i'm going to actually show you right now these are very limited so before we begin there is a google form in the description of this video you can jump onto that and fill in your details we'll stay in touch we'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support whether it's this year 2022 or for next year 2023 If some of you are interested to have this presentation I'll uh, give it in the description or I'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a Google form if you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile people also you know very often book personal appointment with me so you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that uh, website where you can book the appointment I've been doing this long enough now for a little over 4 or 5 years now and i've seen thousands of students and and i'm happy to tell you that i've been part of their success story and exactly by doing that mentorship was actually born uh, i learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts and uh, that's how i've designed my 12 months of program you can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description i'm going to drop a link there this mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in india and it only stops here in germany when you are on a part time job so that's how the whole chapters are designed some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg it goes really really deep so to begin with if you're someone who is currently studying let's say in x university okay and you want to know whether your university or the course what you're studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per german database which is called as anabin basically in a nutshell anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's what you studied bachelor's in mechanical in india let's say for example to bachelor's here in germany in mechanical and what you have to see is your university has something called as h plus so i'll quickly show you how you can check your university whether it's approved by anabin or not just go on google and type anabin dot de when you're here go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search let me just switch this for you in english oh my selection i think it's there from previously so it's selected india in your case you have to open country selection and just press i and it will show india or a list of countries with i confirm place where in india let's say i want to check mumbai i'm going to go and type m and then say uh mumbai maharashtra so this is where you will see amity university mumbai uh, it's a private university and it's h plus that means it's approved and likewise you have to go and look for your university you can change the city name to something else wherever you come from you know and then uh let's say mangalore you can see it right here okay so for example this university it's h minus now that this university is h minus this 
whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from anabin and there's a altogether different process which i don't want to get into right now but yes make sure that your university is h plus list of documents what you need to apply in a university which is uh, right here nine things uh, primarily bachelor's degree transcripts for all eight semesters consolidated mark sheets or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester then provisional degree you need sop let's say you're applying for 10 different universities then you need 10 different sops uh, designed you need three at least three uh, letter of recommendations ielts 6.5 overall and you need to give academic ielts not general ielts there are two types that's why work experience letter if you have any internship or ECA stands for extracurricular activity uh if you have published some academic papers a uh, cv in europass format a uh, course module book course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering uh, you know in a pdf format what was the course content what you were taught which you can get it from your administration so these are the nine documents which are the basis of application So there are two intakes in Germany one is in summer one is in winter summer starts in april the deadline is 15th of jan normally the application actually begins in by november december onwards for winter it starts in october the deadline is may uh, 15 sometimes the deadlines can also go till june 15th so in germany uh, the application is done via three ways via university portal via my assist or combination of first and second now how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application well you will have to check on the course website this is what the breakdown of german gpa is so one is the highest you can score here in this country four is bare minimum like just pass anything beyond four is fail now many of you would already have your grades into either cgpa or sgpa or percentage how can you calculate that from that grading system to german gpa i have i have this link right here uh which i'm going to click now and it will take us directly onto the website of technical university munich we're going to convert the grades let's say the highest what uh, high cgpa one can get is 10 uh the bare minimum required to pass the degree is 5 and you got let's say 7.2 that's your german gpa right here you know 2.6 is something what you have got if yours would be let's say 8 then it's 2.2 so this is how you calculate grades so moving forward from here on all right now that you have seen that there are so many colleges how do you keep track of them there is a there has to be a structure to it So in Nikshala in our company we follow certain way of doing things which has been the most efficient what i've seen over the course of time you're on google make sure that you go ahead and make this on google sheet right here now that you're here uh, first of all go ahead and change the name of the file university so this is a kind of structure what i personally uh, would like to have when it comes to you know shortlisting of the university it starts with serial number right here then it goes on to university and uh, under university there is two types one is the university name and the type of university so if it's tu then you write tu right here okay uh and then there is a course uh what course is this so you know in this case it's computational engineering you can see that how many semesters the program is of what is the deadline does it require you to have german or not does it require you to have ielts or not uh what is the prerequisite have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need what gpa what german gpa does it require like for example 2.5 first class with distinction ects requirement if it's 210 or 180 if it requires sop or not if it's yes then just type yes lor then how many lors if you have given test AS or GRE what has been your score here mode of application is it via uni assist or is it via direct portal you know then the the course website as you can see it's right here it's displaying out and if you have any email id of the 
course coordinator. This is the typical format I like to follow here. It has proven to be very successful for last so many years. I have used this format with different students. All right, so moving from here on, this is where I'm going to share you the list of universities. I'll show you. Uh, it took me a while to actually collect these universities. Once you have this presentation, you click here. This will take you on a Google form. Fill out your information. I'll ask the team to send you this list over your email ID. So this is the list I was talking about. Let's say we go into one of these courses. Let's say this one. So as you can see, this is happening in Ruhr Campus Academy, which is uh, under the Duisburg Essen University Pharmaceutical Medicine. I was having a very hard time to find an English taught program. Some of the courses which are in English are paid ones, like for example, this one. This is a one year degree program, which is 60 ECTS. Our requirements are that applicants should have a degree in following areas, pharmacy, life sciences, medicine. You will be eligible to apply here. And that's what I was saying in my introduction that when you have Goethe certificate of B1 or B2, the choices go really broad. Right now you have barely like seven, six, seven universities. But then when you know German, then you can apply for bilingual course or you can apply for German taught program absolutely for free. The public university is what we are talking about because healthcare, anything to do with medicine, healthcare, these are primarily taught in German taught program only. But yeah, there are a handful of them. Uh, you can jump onto this link and then have a look for yourself. How much salary you can expect if you were to work as a chemist? just an example i'm going to show you now so when you press that link this is where you're going to land gehal.de and uh, imagine that you know you graduated as masters uh, in pharmacy and you want to be a chemist then uh, this is the website which gives you an an ballpark idea of per month how much salary you can expect which is starting off 2400 euros going all the way till 3000 euros a month. You can also scroll down and see where are the openings for these jobs and, and in which city. So this is just a month, let's say, you know, for a year, you can say like a starting salary of 30, 35,000 euros, which is actually nothing. If you are a well experienced person, then of course you look, there are jobs worth 45, 50, 60,000 euros as well available, depending on how much expertise you bring on the table. I also know many people who work with a lot of big companies like Bayer and BASF, uh, Novartis, all of these companies, and their background was not purely into pharmaceutical, but they came from chemistry department and biology department. So one of the key learnings what I've seen people having after this is, you know, they get either themselves into pharmaceutics, medical chemistry, pharmacognosy, and pharmacy practice. Choice is yours. I've also met a lot of students. They graduate from pharmacy and they end up doing PhD. Moving from the list, specializations in pharmacy. Now you can see on the screen, there's so many different kinds of specializations you can focus yourself into. Pharmacotics, pharmacology, medical chemistry, biopharmaceutics, drug regulatory affairs, uh, pharmaceutical biotechnology, clinical pharmacy, drug discovery and drug development, master of public health care, uh, pharmaceutical administration, pharmaceutical analysis and qual quality and uh, assurance, pharmaceutical technology, pharmaceutics, uh, pharmacy practices, uh, quality assurance. So you can specialize yourself once you're in the pharmaceutical masters into these areas. And my advice for you would be that start focusing your area of interest from second semester onwards so that by the time you are at the end of the education, you are master of one subject and you can go into the industry asking for job in the same field. So that is a way to move forward. We are on the last slide. If you want to get enrolled for the program, you can just click right here. Uh, as I said, you can have this PDF for yourself and uh, yeah, get in touch with us. We'll be happy to help you out. So yeah, if you have made it till here, thank you so much for tuning in. Now that you have the list of colleges, and all the required documents, go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help, but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh, because that's where a lot of people make mistakes. So having said that, thank you so much. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.